Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of The Streak. We are jumping in again for our 49th win and we are going to be playing as Lilith for this one. A character that, I don't know, she isn't exactly too difficult, but she can be a little problematic just because of the, uh, the bad start she gets with her stupid little delay on Incubus. I've had problems with her before, but we shall not this time. We shall not this time because we are very good at the game. <laughs> I've got to just gas myself up a little bit. And say that so that I don't play bad. <laughs> I'm also playing first thing in the morning here, which is normally like a good decision, I think. <laughs> um, slightly annoying room here with these guys jumping up and down. I, I do really like these enemies though. These enemies are really, really cool. And they're just a little annoying for this character. Whoa, got a big old freeze there. That was weird. My headphones not sitting on correctly. Right, there you go. Good, good, good. Okay, um, let's go do this big room so we can use our box of friends. Last time we played as Lilith, I believe we traded away our box of friends. I can't remember why now. Um, okay, this is actually not too bad of a room here. We've just got to stop the tide of these big boys getting past, which shouldn't be too problematic. But yeah, what, what am I hoping for for this character? It'd be really good to get a good familiar on our first item room. I'm thinking like Seraphim, something like that would be really good. Um... Anything of that calibre would be really nice. Okay, this isn't too bad either. Just take out all the little flies and we're good to go. We should be good to go. I love the idea of, um, of familiars in games. Like, I've just... I I'm kind of thinking about it more like now in the D&D &D context because basically in our D&D &D campaign, one of, our, one of our, our players has just uh, decided to go and buy themselves a, a rat to be like their little familiar that runs around with them. Um, and I just love the idea of, uh, of having a little rat companion to help you out with things. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that is a familiar. It's not the best familiar, but it is good. I don't believe it can hurt us. It explodes, but I don't believe it can hurt us. So that puts us in a decent spot for the boss. Uh, basically, I think we hover it over... The boss and it'll charm and then, and then eventually explode if I remember correctly with this thing. Yeah, you see how it's like got all, its face has got all bunched up now? There you go. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Honestly, that's pretty good. I don't remember what the recharge time is on that, what the respawn time. Um, I, I've probably asked this question of the day before, but I'm going to ask it again. Cause it's been a while and there might be some new people here. Tell me about your pets. Tell me about your pets. And if you don't have pets, do you want a pet? And if you don't want pets, why? We've got the whole nine yards here. Yeah, so basically, we can hold this over you to do some damage. Or try to, at least. It's annoying that, like, his face comes less bunched up over time. I wish he had, like, a save state. Because this guy moves a lot. There you go. Look, look at that. That's really good. We like that. We like that. Extra speed here is rather nice too. Little bit annoyed we didn't get any extra um, soul hearts off of the, the back of this floor. I would have loved that. But we'll try and find secret room real quick here. Uh, I'm almost certain it's actually... Hmm. Hmm. This is a tricky one actually because it's either here or here. I'm going to try here first. There you go. Good, good, good. Didn't get too much out of that. Um, I think we're just going to leave here. Second secret room. Do we have an inkling where that might be? It could be here. Okay. I think it happened. Mm, it could be there or it could be either one of these two. I'll go for this one and just try it out. Unfortunately not. I'm not going to waste my last bomb um, trying to find it. Although the second secret room is good for like HP and stuff. I still don't think it's worth our last bomb. I'd rather save it and be a little more safe but yeah using this using this fly is it's kind of it's it's good but difficult there you go it, I, I love the fact that it's an explosive but it like flies a decent distance enough away from us also they have respritted this guy to look very cool oh he fires fucking rockets now that's fucking new That's very new. Dude. 
that's cool, but goddamn it's scary. This makes this boss way more formidable. Way more formidable. It did a full heart of damage to me as well. Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> Fuck you. My god, I'm scared. He's really hard to hit in this scenario with Lilith. Because I, I can't really get my, uh, my fella to... Dude! Oh, man. I, I could die because of this. That was horrible. Dude, that was so difficult. <laughs> I, d I don't know if I like that. That's with, with the with all the iron blocks in the room. It's very very hard to avoid those. They, they travel at some speed, and I didn't. That, that's that's like, like completely new to me. I didn't know that could happen. Oh, dude. Oh no. Things are going awry, people. Things are going awry. I do not like this at all. I'm being very, very quiet right now. I don't like this guy. This guy's wicking me out. That didn't bomb him? God damn it. I mean, it got that out of the way at least, which is good. Right, just fire in the hole. Hope for something that gives us HP from this boss, uh, this item room. That's a very good item, but it doesn't give us HP. Okay. Play this nice and slow. Secret room could be here. It's not. Could it be above us? Could be here as well, yep. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> We're back in the running, people. We're back in the running. Oh, my God. I was... I was crying there, right? I'm gonna do this as well. Ah, oh, baby. Okay. Okay. That's the that's where we've got to be min-maxing. That's that's where it's important. That that's the closest we've come to death yet on our streak, I think. That was that was rough. Parasitoid tears, very, very nice for us. Little annoyed to use bombs after seeing this room where we could get more bombs, but hey her. It's just how it rolls. Oh, fuck are you? But yeah, be very, very careful of that version of Wrath. Very, very careful. Dude, we, we managed to get so much HP so quickly here. Yeah, these, these exploding flies aren't actually that good for regular rooms. They're really much better at um, dealing with bosses. Just because you have to hover them on the enemy for so long. Not many enemies make that plausible. But it does, it does do damage when it's hovering over the enemy regardless, so that's good at least. Right, shop we definitely want to go to. We have plenty of money to work with right now. Um, and I think I'm going to take both of these, to be honest. Humbling bundle, of course. Very, very nice. What I want next is some extra fire rate to uh, go along with our... Uh, Go along with a lovely bit of extra parasitoid damage. By the way, that there's a there's a half black, half red heart in there. They don't work for some reason, so I'm not gonna bomb my way in to get that. They just they just don't give you a black heart, even if you're uh, full on red health. So I'm not gonna grab that. Oh, bloody goddamn fly! Fuck you! Right. Bugger you. Oh, bugger you, you stupid asshole. Stop. 
There you go. God damn. <laughs> really, really bad damage to take there. I was trying way too hard to get my guys to explode on him. I should treat it more as a passive thing than an active thing, because it's getting me hit if I'm treating it too actively. Cool. I like the noise that guy makes when he comes back. Okay, this is a horrible room. Okay, good. Double keys, beautiful. You were charmed for like 0.1 of a second there, dude. Give me Charles Leash, please. This character without Charles Leash is just absolute pain. Golden Troll Bomb, a lot of fun. Yeah. We're doing okay, though. Because I've got so many keys, I might as well pop in here and see. Um, I think I'll just take that. The Black Lantern's interesting, but I'd rather just have the Soul Heart right now. Okay. Probably shouldn't have gone onto this island. That's not too bad, actually. Oh, dude, can you guys stop moving, please? Yeah, we definitely need some increased stats. Our stats right now are, are really letting us down. Parasitoid is only going to carry us so far. Good. good. Nice, that bombing was very good. Got a lot out of that. Ooh, extra soul heart there as well. One of the locked ones. We like that. Toy drum is very good here. I think uh, I'll save for Angel Deal. Um, secret room? We don't really have an, an inkling on yet, I don't think. Let's go back and hope our item room is something beautiful. Um, God damn it, troll bomb. I think that would have hit if the secret room was there. Oh, there's, there's a thin room here anyways, because secret room can't be there. My bad. Why am I carrying this card, by the way? What does this card do? Players' tears will be converted into sharp key tears for the duration of the room. Firing sharp key tears will consume a key, but they will drop a key whenever they collide with something. I don't know why that's useful. Unless it gives me some free keys. I don't think that's very good, and it doesn't sound like it does. It gives me one free key. Okay. Yeah, come on. Let's let's get something that's going to give us a bunch of extra fire rate. Ooh, this is a it's a pretty gross room. We don't we don't like this. Are you going to die, big boy? H yeah, how am I meant to not get hit there? How am I meant to not get hit here at all? Fuck this room, man. What the fuck is this? <laughs> fuck that room. I'm getting hit again in there. Sometimes some rooms get so much harder when, like, just by random chance they're all champions. It turns them basically impossible. Okay. We found our item room. Good, good. Oh, man. The delay on firing from this Incubus is just gross, man. Wow. <laughs> Last D12. I knew that was going to fucking hit me, God damn it! Okay, we got another familiar. Not very happy with it though. Brother Bobby is, is, is one of the lower tier ones you can get. And honestly, from an item room, it's pretty fucking lackluster. One second. I was very confused at what noise I could hear, but there's someone hoovering in the hallway outside. <laughs> I was like, uh, there's no one in my house hoovering. I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, Brother Bobby's kind of one of those things where it's like, yeah, it's a little bit of extra damage. It's decent, but it's not it's not great. At least we've got Toy Drum for some damage, but it's, it's not really a lot. 
We've got our double cash rooms, but we can't afford to go in them at the moment, really. They do have better layouts, so it's like it's not a super big risk to go for that. Okay. Good. If, I, if I take damage, I need to try and open those chests swiftly. Use the damage taken to uh, leverage some extra uh, extra chances to open these mimic chests. Come on, Krabby, we got you. Okay. Um. Right. Let's have a thing. Secret room, do we have any inkling on where that might be? Not really. Not really. I guess it could be to the right here. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, that's very nice. Thank you. Tell you what, I'm going to do one of the cash rooms. With the better layouts, I'm hopeful it could be quite useful for us. If the first one's really good and we get HP out of it, we can go to the second one. Okay, this this was quite good. <laughs> this was quite good. Oh, what the fuck did I do that for? I like, slipped on the block. Okay, we'll go to the second one as well here. Okay, we got a black out of this as well. Okay, this was this was also also good for us. Nice. Okay. We should be going to the cash rooms. <laughs> Let's make sure we go to the cash rooms. We got finally got some damage and fire rate out of the pact, which is very, very good for us. I'm feeling a little more comfortable in our run now. Still not entirely, but a bit more. Alright, boss time. Oh, I already killed the boss. I just used my bloody box. As soon as I got into the boss, and I've already fucking killed the boss. My bad. Right, what are we going on here? <clears throat> Allows the player to see enemy health. That's reasonably useful. Hey, we got ourselves a little, uh, little brimstone here. I'm taking damage. Well, any red he health we get will pop on you. Being able to see enemy health though, as a trinket is, is kind of nice. Only thing with having uh, Little Brim here is he is pretty far back in the queue, so it's going to be kind of hard to aim correctly, which is a bit of a shame. It's not entirely impossible, it's just going to be a little harder than normal. Good stuff. Yeah, this is not a bad run now. I'm liking it. This guy champion he is, isn't he? Having been able to see those health bars is pretty useful. But yeah, hopefully we get a, a decent amount of red heart drops here so we can uh, we can take advantage of that demon beggar to get more stuff in terms of familiars and hopefully an item out of you out of it as well. All of those would be would, would be pretty goddamn good. But yeah, I might not end up using Little Brim to the most effective of his abilities because of where he is in the queue. But it does now mean we get two of them, which is rather nice. We've got to the point where when we use our box, we've got a pretty good smattering of, of fellas now, which I quite like. Extra bombs. I will crack open this and see if it's a five room. Rerolls all pickups in the room. Well, you see, we would pick up reroll the pickups in the room, but now we've got HP to work with. Also, I'm actually kind of thinking the secret room might be there. No, it's not. There's rocks there. Anyways, let's keep playing this guy out. There you go. There you go. Not bad items there. Lovely stuff. Right, back to this two room. And pop that open as well. Didn't really get much out of it, but there you go. Two rooms very weird. Why is it only reroll everything in the room? It just seems kind of pointless to exist. Ah, oh, that was a very bad hit. It seems kind of pointless, but eh. It exists, so why complain? It's not hurting us for it to exist. 
Right, gotta be careful about this, dude. Item room, please, please, please be something good. My reflection is good. I like my reflection, but considering there's a reroll in there, I really think we should play the field here and try and get something better. I'm just trying to get a bit more money first. Oh god, it's kind of, kind of bright outside of my window open. I can barely see the goddamn game. Oh, we've got spider mod in here as well. Where does spider mod come from? Oh, just... Does this trinket basically just give us spider mod for the room? I think it does. Right, let's let's do some re-rolling now. Yeah, my reflection's good, but I, I reckon we can do better. Rotgut. Rotgut's pretty good. It can be dangerous, but it is a familiar, so I don't mind it. Rotgut can be pretty good. It used to be quality 4, but it got changed to quality 2 because it can... It's good, but it can screw you over pretty bad. It's not secret room. Okay. I'm not going to get much out of shop here, but you can see how it's like... Picks a random position and pulls. Basically, it can screw you over. If it picks a random position, that position is actually like... Actively pulling stuff towards you. That's when it's kind of fucks. That doesn't happen super often, though. Yeah, I think it will get duplicated with our box. Yeah, we're killing stuff really quick now, right. Uh, cash rooms and then go, I think, is the way to play this now. Do you know, these, these like, extra big chests, I don't think I've ever had anything good out of any of those. Okay, we didn't get a second cash room for some strange reason. I'm not going in your gob, mister. I'm not doing it. Right, let's get out of here. Pop the pill. Uh, anything more we can get out of this room? Nah, there's a three skull Monty, but I, I, I very rarely find them useful. Secret room, do we still have an inkling on or are we completely lost on that? Could be here. There you go. More money. Good stuff. Okay, let's go back to the shop now. And then we've got plenty of pennies to work with. A lot of back and forth here, but this is what min-maxing is all about. We've got to make sure to take the advantages when they come our way. Um, confessional spawns upon entering a new floor. Yeah, I'll take that and I'll buy the soul heart as well. It's not the best. Ooh, we should probably buy the uh, the playing card too, see what we get there. Jack of Diamonds. Coins will drop more often after clearing rooms. Okay, we can use that on the next floor. Basically, as, a, as an addition to our rune drop reward, we'll also get extra coins, which is kind of nice. Yeah, the, the um, confessional at the end, start of every floor could be useful. We'll see. It's also a way to damage ourselves on, on red hearts, which is kind of nice. Yes, it does. Rotgut does get two of them. Oh, they've both appeared in the same location. I'm not sure if that was just random chance or if that's what they'd always do. I'm unsure. Oh, Lord. That got a bit tricky there. Easy enough. HP there is very nice. I like that. And the angel deal is going to give us... Unfortunately, a bit of nothing. A strong bit of nothing. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's no way in which I think taking that is the right decision. Unfortunately, we don't have a reroll either, so we'll just be leaving that for now. Let's go. But yeah, getting extra red hearts is really nice here, because now we have more uh, confessional charges, and using the confessional is good for just potentially getting items and angel deal chance, but and soul hearts too. But also, the ma main thing is out of it, we can potentially get, um, feel blessed, there you go. But out of it, we can potentially get extra familiars through, um, Cambian Conception, so it's really good in that, in that regard. You're stuck. But yeah, as we get more red hearts, we can go back to that. Oh, we need to pop this as well. Uh, brimstone him up. Oh, my little soul died. It's okay. His death births a new 
little soul heart for us. Yeah, sometimes Rotgut as well will do this where he's like pops up nowhere near you at the back of the room and just chills. Oh, he's tiny. He's a teeny baby. Ah, oh, you fucking idiot. That was really silly. I'll take that. Speed down's very annoying. I mean, I'm in the pill game now. Just take the pills. Oh, you fucker! Why do I do these things? It's never worth it. It's never worth it. Oh, God. It's never, ever worth it to take pills. They're the worst. Now I can't see and my tears are worse. I blame you guys. <laughs> you guys make me do these things. Right, easy room. Dude, stop giving me bombs and giving me keys so I can open that big chest. I should, in theory, I should get uh, be able to open that chest by the end of the floor with um, keys that I'll get from Humbling Bundle. Okay, this guy's going to keep reviving if we're not careful. That's pennies. Doesn't really help. Um, soul here. Pop our soul of Sam out. I think each one of these little dudes will count as a separate soul, I'm hoping. Hey, secret room, wasn't expecting that. Yes, he will. Nice. Lovely. Extra key there. We got one of those immortal heart, immortal hearts, sorry. This guy's got to go around collecting all of our hard-earned cash. No! I, all of our hard-earned cash. Get back here. At least they drop the money now. They never used to. Oh, dude. Shouldn't have got hit there. Steam sales potentially pretty good. We like that. We like that. We got a red chest in here somewhere. Room reward red chest? No, it's behind here. I'll use a key to get this. Pills. Thanatosis. Thanatosis. Pills have to be good to me now. They've been bad to me for too long. Okay, so Rockgut does appear in two random locations. I, w I was just unlucky before. I was just very unlucky. Okay. Unfortunately, no red hearts are all here. It's also a kind of rough room here. I'm going to stay back with little uh, little brimstone and do some work. Oh, we got Dark Bum. I didn't realize we got a Dark Bum. That's nice. That's a good one to grab. Although I actually do want my red hearts in this case. Okay, this guy's been an absolute tyrant. Get back here, you. That everything? Okay, good. Damn it, we're going to have to lose our heart to get out of here. I was really hoping we'd have combat in here. I wanted that heart. <laughs> That's just sad. Okay, whatever. It's my bad. Oh, dude. I really need to shut the window because it's, it's really bright. I can barely see. How did that miss? Thank you, Rotgut, for saving us there. Rotgut does some weird stuff. Oop. More keys. I told you we should be able to get the keys required for that chest. I think it's seven that we need. So we only need two more. But instead we get just pennies and nothing else. But yeah, no red heart drops at all, which is weird. We've got this corrupted black heart thing now as well, so some red hearts will turn into black hearts. But overall, that's not a bad thing. That plus dark bum should mean that we're pretty okay on HP for the rest of the run. There you go, baby. Oh, I took it. That was mine. They gave me a black heart for it, so I can't complain too much, but I was planning on taking the, those hearts. More bombs. Come on, we need keys, game. We need keys. Okay. You shouldn't be too bad, my good friend. Not really use our bomb fly in a little while, have we? 
Not really have the opportunity, to be honest. He's good, but he's not like the end all be all. Do not like this room. I don't think I'm going to get out of this room without taking some damage. I'm having to use like Little Brim to do almost all of my damage here. There you go. I surprisingly didn't take any damage there. Finally got some of my speed back. A shop coming in as well here. Ooh, Eternal Heart's lovely. Oh, Hive Mind is very good for us here. Misprinted Joker. I never remember how that works. Let's have a look, see. Rerolls items in the room into items from the uh, Devil or Angel item pool. Okay. Um, we don't have any way of getting that. Oh, we have, oh, we have Beelzebub now, I think. We have Flight. Nice. Yeah, we have Beelzebub now. That's nice. Um, cool. Pop in here. Still need a lot more keys. I'm liking our friends here. Nice and easy. Blood clot's worth taking. I don't think I used misprinted Joker there. I do the rest of these rooms just in case I get the keys required, but I don't think I'm going to at this point. Was there a keys for sale by any chance? No. Oh, there is a sack for sale, though. That could give us keys. Nope. <laughs> nope, I was too hopeful there. Lots of the heart enemies right now. Do not like that. Okay. I think we're just good to go here. So there's much else we can get out of this. Let us leave. Good stuff. Yeah, I think I think we've got a pretty good build now, especially with Hive Mind um, and what's it called going on. We get the name of it now. The one that gives us all the flies and spiders when we hit things. Parasitoid. That's the one. Ow! What hit me? Luckily, we've got this heart that's helping us out here. Do we have a sack room there as well? Hello, sack room. We're also going to get some black lotus every now and again from heart drops. Through, um, through our corrupted heart item. Ooh, dry baby. Was not expecting you, but I will take you. Of course, now we get the keys. A weird but good run here. And here we've got what seems to be a big water bottle. Tear size up. In hostile rooms, water streams appear. Touching it will grant a tear rate buff that drains. Shops contain water bottle pickups that will grant a buff um, from the stream but doesn't drain. We like that. That's a bit of a tears up. Actually, quite a bit of a tears up. And then we can get more tears ups in combat rooms. There's a water spout. Oh, dude, this is going to be good. For Parasitoid with all the extra uh, fire rate, I like this. This is a cool item. I've not seen this in the shop before. Very, very peculiar for this item to be in the shop, I've got to admit. I would not I would not have placed this in the shop myself. Seems very good. Cool. Turn that into a black heart. Right. Back to our item room. Oh, also, now we can get into our cash rooms for half price because we've got flight. I didn't even think about that. I like that a lot. Got a really itchy ear right now. Something destroyed him very quickly. Extra penny. Don't think we'll be needing that much. Still no red heart drops, really, though. Maybe I can buy corrupted heart is just turn them on to black hearts. Yeah, dude, that fire rate bonus is lovely. You can maintain such a good fire rate bonus. Does it... It works into the next room as well. That's that's mad. With flight as well, it's way easier to grab them. This is a very good item, but yeah, not, not fitting of the shop at all. People do some weird stuff with item placements in terms of their, their pools. People are just like, eh, whatever. We'll just place it in this room. Bish, why? What was your reasoning behind that? <laughs> 
shop is meant to be predominantly utility items, not here's a fuckload of fire rate. This should be a secret room item, if anything, I think. Okay. Plenty of keys now. Not a particularly hard room. I do like having two dry babies, I've got to say. Two dry babies goes the extra mile. We've yeah, we've we've got a, a pretty a pretty great familiar chain going on now. The run has increased quite a bit. You'll listen, I mean it is a familiar, but it's not exactly one of the ones we're looking for. But I mean it's still it's still useful. Easier access to secret room and stuff is nice. Also, crawl space spotting and stuff like that. I think your listen is one of the better, uh, better versions of being able to show you secrets. Ah, I lost my heart. God damn it. We did find this though. Two eternal sacks. Ooh. I was hoping that would do a little bit better than that, but no hearts for us. Right. Go into that cash room, and then I think we're good to go. We can look for the other secret room on the way back as well. Yeah, these chests are just terrible. Don't know what that noise was. Did I create another familiar? No. Yeah, no idea what that noise was. Secret room, reveal yourself to me. You'll listen. No? You'll listen does not seem interested at all. There we go, we found it. Thank you. Not very useful for us though, unfortunately. Right, not use misprinted jerky yet, that's still on the table. Oh, dude. Demolished. Demolished. Where's the devil deal at? Oh, it's below. I, I told you, I can't fucking see. Piercing tears, tears cause bleed. Um, yeah, I think we'll take that. Sickle cell. We don't need our red hearts. Right, let's go. Let's see if I can actually use this misprinted joker. It makes those a little bit less useful, but... Having piercing is very nice. The bleed is also really good. We like all of that. Would be nice if I didn't get hit, though. Oh, stop being a moron, please. Oh, dude, it might take quite a lot of these into black hearts. And if it doesn't, our boy can have them. Ooh, worm friend. I haven't had worm friend in ages. Also, yet another good familiar. Plus 10 bombs, I'll be honest, not not even worth gra Actually, to be fair, no, we can do misprinted joker on this and see what we get. There you go. Guardian Angel, not a bad one. Oh, we got conjoined out of that as well. Nice. Don't mind conjoined. Didn't give us too much stats down. You could do with spectral now. Worm friend taking this guy out for me. Lovely. Not great there either. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of these blood deck capsule things as well. We can get into this cash room for free as well. Lovely stuff. Because that normally yields some HP for us. There's a lot of red chests. I told you, those chests are just downright bad. Never had one pay out positively. That one gave me some black flies, but I don't care about that. Fortunately, that other room we don't really have the HP for. We are shitting on things right now. Oh, dude. I don't even know how that guy hit me, really. Bad hit. Bad hit. 
This is, is very visually messy at the moment, so that's definitely a distraction. Health is not perfect right now, but it's not awful either. We're hitting everything in the room super easily here. I'm bleeding all of them and everything. It's it's pretty beautiful. Good. Get the water spare. Oh god, I forgot that you did that. I forgot that you did that. Get the water spare again. I think the bleed is going to be pretty good against the boss here. Oh my lord. The sounds. Hey, okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Right, good to go. Damn, this 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 build got crazy. We got so many familiars this run. It's, it's, it's kind of rare that you get this many familiars when playing this character. Um, yes, I think yes. Ooh, we did get Sigil of Baphomet. Finally a decent payout from one of those. I'd say Sigil of Baphomet is pretty fucking good. Right, Card Against Humanity. I don't know where I'll use this, but I'll keep it on me. It's bound to be useful. You can get some Soul Heart stuff out of it, but our HP's looking pretty good now. That room solved a lot of our worries. Those, those rooms can be so weird. Sometimes they're fantastic, and other times they just do nothing for you. I looks at five as well, so uh, Parasitoid is probably popping out quite a few, uh, quite a few kids right now. Wasn't expecting this, unfortunately. I do not care for either of those. Pretty unfortunate. The uh, the little sibling one, the little green guy. Yeah, he's easy familiar, but. Not exactly what we need right now, and I don't think it's worth the HP. Water spouts. Boom, boom. The fact that they last into the next room means we've got to be taking them. Whenever we can. But it looks like this is pretty much a straight shot to the finish now, isn't it? We've crafted something pretty beautiful. I love having Sigil of Baphomet to be a bit more aggressive as well. Do, I'll take a burn heart, why not? I don't need it, but I'll take it. Some more keys. Our keys have reached uh, a critical point now. So these guys, big bastards. Dude, that needs to be nerfed, I think. Those rockets travel at way too high a speed to dodge. At range, it's okay. But otherwise, they are very difficult to dodge. I guess you just gotta keep your range at all times, but then how do you hit them? There's so many blocks and stuff in the way. You chill out, my guy? There you go. I like getting room drop soul hearts. That makes me happy. Right. Card against humanity. Still haven't found a large room to, to utilize this in yet. Would have thought we'd have found one by now, but sadly not. It's annoying that we can't see enemy health bars anymore. I missed that. Enemy health bars was useful. There's an extra black heart there. You take that, big fella. He dropped a spider on me that I couldn't see because I have so many of my own spiders. Thank you. Okay. Boss time. Shan't be a problem at all, I wouldn't think, with the amount of flies and spiders we're unleashing. Although the slowing is kind of weird. I don't know what we're doing to slower, but... That's clearly not ideal. A hey, skipping the last phase, we know we got good damage. And away we go. Kaiser Humanity, I guess we save for the next floor and see if we find a big room there. I think at this point it's probably pretty redundant. I don't think it's really gonna help us that much, but we've got it, so we might as well use it when it's appropriate. It's also gonna be fun to just see it like decimate all the poops in one go with our piercing tears. And you're a little bit late to the party as well, good sir. Don't really need any of your money, I don't think. I'm like not even going to bother picking it up. Okay, we found a large room here. Good, good. Oh God. That's a lot of light beams, baby. Oh 
Come on, petrified poop, where you at? A good amount of black hearts out of this, I didn't even think about that. Unfortunately, petrified poop is a bit too late to be useful. Darn tootin'. Did I see it earlier in the run or something? I must have done. That's just unlucky, but still got some good stuff out of it, got some black hearts and stuff. I kind of forgot that our red hearts can transform into black hearts and be pretty rewarding for us. Oh, dude. I'm loving the, dem like, the, the amount of demolishment we can put on enemies here. Isaac should be an absolutely pain-free boss fight, I'd think. Don't think we'll have any trouble with him whatsoever. Do I, I guess I should I double on this guy, but I will. I will. I'll be more careful about that attack. How is he not dead yet? We must have some boss armor. Ooh, and we get ourselves monstrance. We also get ourselves a nice soul of Isaac here, which will be pretty good for the next floor. Do not mind monstrance. I don't think we'll get a hell of a lot of use out of it. Ooh, spare black heart there as well. Lovely. I think that was one that actually came from Dark Bomb rather than from um, the evolving cursed heart, whatever it's called. We do not mind. Oh, god damn. Oh, trappers. Oh, God. These runs are always so weird where it's like you just you just get so much shit on screen that you can barely tell what's going on. You just kind of have to hope for the best and hope you don't get hit. There's not really too much you can do to influence. I do find them fun, though. The chaos. It's just always fun to like see the humble beginnings of our run of me panicking on half a heart thinking I'm going to die to then coming out at the end with something like this. You don't expect it, but it's beautiful. More black hearts. I'm not sure to take them because it fills up our uh, soul hearts into black hearts, which is kind of nice. Doing damage to the entire room, we lose a heart is not a bad thing. I'd like to get more as well. Something I think on this run we can reasonably reliably bank on. This guy has quite a bit of HP, my god. A bit too much for my liking. Some ghosties in here. I don't think we need to pick up any more keys at this stage. These guys also have quite a lot of HP. Especially the champion versions. Okay, we're all good. We're all good. Right, take the water spare into the boss fight. Ah, nice. Both of our rock guts are in pretty good positions to nullify most of his attacks in the first stage. We like that. Yeah. <laughs> this is good. Rock Guts doing some good stuff here. So many water spurts. Look at this. God damn. Plus three fire rate. Holy shit. Right, you're dead. Beautiful. And then we've got a Soul of Isaac for our chests in the next floor here to see if we get anything nice to add on to this already pretty crazy run. Boom, bow, boom, bow. I mean, that's good. I'll sort of Isaac the rest of these to see what we get. Unfortunately, nothing great. I think I'm just going to take all the originals, to be honest. Hmm. I've got flight. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm waiting there. Like, how do I do this? I don't have to. I have flight. Yeah, Tooth Shot, Tough Love with five damage is, uh, a five luck, sorry, is pretty good. We're going to be firing a good amount of Teeth Shots. Although I don't know if they'll vis visibly be Teeth, because we've got so many other things that change visually what our shots look like. Not sure how that'll work. Hey, we've got the Boxing Glove. We've been getting that a lot recently, and it is quite good. Oh, there you go. We, we saw a Tooth. We saw our two. Oh yes, all the flies are ours. I forgot about that. Don't have to worry about them. We good? We good? We're good. Quite hectic. Like I said before, just you can't really see what's going on. There is nothing that we can do to visually see what's happening. 
We just have to rely on the system. Oh my god, that's a lot of spiders. We, we, we good? Okay, we got like just an absolutely ridiculous amount of invincibility from our uh, trinket there. So there was nothing able to deal damage to us. Because the, uh, the amount that you get stacks. No secret room here by the looks of it. Very nice. Analog stick, I don't mind. Forbidden Seed and Robo Baby 3.0. You'd think that 3.0 would be better than Robo Baby 1 and Robo Baby 2.0, but no. Also, Robo Baby is like a. It's not like a tongue twister, but it's really satisfying to say. Robo Baby. Robo Baby. Robo Baby. Robo Baby. Come on. We went every which way apart from the right way. I've got Bumbo as well on this little mission here. I've not really seen him do anything yet. He's just along for the ride, I guess. Oh, god damn. This is a weird room. An easy room, but a weird one. I managed to shoot that little head out of the sky there. I didn't think I could do that. But yeah, I think I think we've got pretty much this in the bag compared uh, like thinking about Blue Baby as a fight. I think we should be fine. I punch you. Don't go underground, thank you. Just gotta hope we go the right way reasonably soon. Oh god, he's got Rage Mode on him. He's got tons of extra HP. King in yellow, while decent, not what we're looking for right now. And we are golden. Let's go. Rock Guts aren't in the best positions here. Probably shouldn't be standing on top of the Rock Gut, to be honest. Luckily, all the flies he produces are uh, charmed by us immediately, so that's kind of nice. We've also got a lot of water spares around here we should grab. Quite a lot of them, indeed. My god. Oh my god. The amount of flies and spiders popping out of this man right now is absurd. <laughs> I love the noise it makes when Parasitoid hits. It's just non-stop at the moment. Right, stop moving, please. You know you're already dead. There you go. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed yet another win. Last one before 50. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.